welcome back to my channel where we do live makeup classes, hair tutorials, and makeovers. Today I have my beautiful model Lisa and she is so fun. She's modeled on my channel before and I love doing her makeup. She has really beautiful features and she is always up for something fun. So today she has this amazing like kind of pastel unicorn rainbow hair. So I thought it would be really fun to play with colors on her eyes, some things that I don't usually do. So we're going to do some pastels, we're going to do violet, we're going to do teal, which will be fun and I think you guys will get a lot of good tips from today because even though we're being really artsy and playing with colors that people don't usually do, my makeup style is always very wearable and it's something you can still um, be able to take away some of your own tips and do a similar look or however you want at home. Um, it's also good to learn when you get new makeup palettes and they have those pastel colors like I feel like when we get a new makeup palette, we all gravitate towards the neutrals, but there's always some pops of color in there, and so hopefully today's look will show you how to use them. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I did um, Lisa's brows already. She has her brows microbladed, and I filled them in with powder, and then I primed her lid with a paint pot today, and I chose, she has more yellow undertones, but I chose a um, pink toned paint pot because we're going to be doing a violet color, and I it's going to pick up whatever's under there. So for that reason, I wanted like a cool toned primer on her lid. And then I'm going to take this color. This is an Anastasia color. It's um, just a very light cream. Go ahead and close. And we're just going to go ahead and set that primer. So we're going to be working with um, like some violet eyeshadows today. And purple eyeshadows are notorious for being really hard to formulate for companies and hard to blend. Sometimes they can be a little bit hard to work with, especially these pastel shades. They can tend to look a little chalky. So I'm just going to show you guys some different tips today. All right, so we have the lid set. So I'm going to pull out my purple color. I will pull it out of my palette so you can see. So this is going to be, maybe if I can get it up. So this is going to be like my main lid shade. So hold it up by here. So it's really beautiful. This is like a complete cool tone. It's a true pastel. It doesn't have any neutral or warm undertones. So we're going to be mainly working with that today. So I'm going to use a beveled blending brush. This one is my MAC. And I'm just going to dip it in, go ahead and close. And I'm going to start at the base of the lashes and work my way up. I don't use the shade. I think I had it from a palette a while ago and I pulled it out and just put it with my MAC shade so I don't know which one it is and I've never found a color like this I really love the tone of it um, but it does go on kind of chalky so for that reason I'm going to start near her lash line because that's easier to blend and then when I don't have as much on my brush I'm going to go in her crease so we've done you've been on my channel twice before right yep we did um like a really sultry smoky eye. I'll link these before after. And we did all blue tones. We did navies because she has like the prettiest blue eyes. I don't think I've ever done just like a neutral look on you. And then we did kind of like a glam look and we did a, a red look on you. Yeah. Yeah. And it looked so pretty. At least it's so fun. And it was right around Christmas. So it kind of, yeah. Yeah. It was like a holiday, holiday look. Yeah. It's beautiful. Lisa is a groomer, a professional groomer. She's amazing. She mm. makes my little Pomeranian look so beautiful and fluffy. And she told me after this, like, we're going to glam her. And she's like, and then I just have to go shave a horse. I <laughs> and I was laughing. But you are going to dinner or lunch? Uh, yeah, we're going to go to dinner later. Uh, so at least hopefully if I get this to stay on really well, I'll, I'll look fabulous. Again. Yes. <laughs> I bet it will. You'll have to text me. Okay. We can really test the staying powers of my makeup, see if they can pull through a horse being groomed. Yeah, because it, it gets a little dusty out there with the horse, so hopefully I can avoid having to wipe my face at lunch. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, you can stop by. I'll be home. <laughs> <laughs> I can touch you up when you're done. So this purple color, you'll notice I am doing so many layers. We, If you have a shadow, like I said, pastels and purple, 
purplers. I like that word. <laughs> I'm going to use that. <laughs> purples in particular, they tend to be chalky. Like I said, not all brands, but a lot of them do, even if they're good quality shadows. So you really do have to layer. And my best tip is just start at the lash line. You can see it's more bold right there. And then when I get into the lid crease, I diffuse it. So a lot of people tend to start in the crease and I do too, and probably like 95% of my tutorials. So this is the only one where I'm not like starting down with the crease color in the base to blend it. Um, because like I said earlier, any color I put on her is gonna really change the tone of this purple. And I want the integrity of this color to be completely on her lid. So if I was to do a crease color, it would just make it harder for me and it would change the color a little bit. But when it's lighter, it almost kind of has a more pinky tone up there, which I really like. I like the gradient of it. So we're gonna do this other side. And then I think we'll kind of see what this is looking like, but I think we're gonna do a teal underneath and that will be really pretty too. I just got Invisalign a couple weeks ago and I, I feel like it doesn't make me have like a like I feel like I sound normal, but then some words are hard to get out, oh. and so I say things like purpular and stuff like that. So I should maybe take it out when I do my tutorials, but I think you're only supposed to have it out for like an hour a day, which is like eating. Yeah. Did you like always experiment with hair color even before you were a groomer or did you learn how to do it on animals and you're like oh this is fun and like start doing things to your yeah, own yeah more like uh doing stuff with you know on poodles and stuff white dogs experimenting with color but yeah my mom wouldn't let me like really dye my hair that much when I was young but mm. you know I grew up in the in the 80s and 90s so um things were still a little more like laid back back then as far as you know now there's like little kids like little little kids with hair color I think it's cool but my mom was like that's a little extreme yeah I think the first time I I put a little red in my hair when I was like 16 that's but it funny. had to be pretty subtle you know but just yeah just like a little bit yeah but uh yeah working on like in the creative style contest and stuff like that for groomers but it was like 20 years ago and they have all these amazing colors now and uh back then we just had like kool-aid and chalk and different things that we had to, <laughs> you use. Had to really be creative yeah that is so fun <clears throat> now the colors are they uh i was just recently at the trade show and they have like a a set of colors you can buy and they are bright and very vivid and they stay on like really well yeah I always wonder that because my Pomeranian is white and I always want to dye him like pink um <laughs> he would look like cotton candy I know but would it get like on my couch and stuff like that no the ones that they make now they don't they don't they don't rub off they're oh, really really good. great they only fade as you wash the dog and it's like safe for their little skin and stuff like totally, that totally yeah they probably have really great formulas now right and if I use chalk on a dog, it does tend to wear off on your white things around the house, whatever they want. It. <laughs> I've done chalk in like little girls' hair before, like mm -hmm, for fun. That's exactly. Is like, that like what you do with the? Yeah, it's exactly like that. Except I just use like the artist chalk, you know, like a. The past look dolls are like from the art store. Yep. Me too. Go ahead and open and look down. I'm gonna do your waterline. Yeah, they worked good. I felt like they dried the hair out, though. Have you noticed that? Yeah, they do. I could have been... It chalky. <laughs> good point. <laughs> okay, look down for me. Totally did. It's fun, though. It's fun for, like, summer and stuff like that. Get creative. Go ahead and yeah. look over that way. Remember, people would used to dye their hair, and maybe they still do. This is, like, a junior high thing to do, like, with Kool-Aid. Like yeah. you were saying, you would do that with the dogs. Go ahead and look this way. Yep. There was a girl that went to church with me and she did hers like pink and it, with Kool-Aid and mm -hmm. it stayed for like three weeks and she thought it would just stay for a day. And that was when bold colors like you were saying weren't quite as yeah. common. Look up for me. Look over this way again. So when you're doing 
go ahead and let this light like pastel colors. Um, a lot of people like to skip the liner, like I'm doing a black liner. I don't have it, but it would be really beautiful to do like a plum, like a violet plum or something like that and have a gradient. I like the way Lisa's eyes look with the liner. I think it's really pretty. Like there's just so light blue, like crystal color. I like the black against them, so I am going to do a liner. But sometimes for colored looks, sometimes doing a black liner feels like an interruption a little bit, if that makes sense. Like it just harshes <laughs> what you're trying to do. But on Lisa, I like it. So. so I like the way this looks. Let me see you. Yeah, this is fun. You pull off any color. Okay. It blows my mind. She just looks good at whatever I do. It's part of why I love doing your makeup. Okay, let us do, let's do teal underneath and then we'll do some lashes. That'll be fun. So this is the Makeup Forever Flash Palette. So I'm going to take the teal color and do it um, near her waterline, not in her waterline. And then I'm going to go in with like a teal eyeshadow. That, like blue. Yeah, it almost pretty. like I'm going for your hair. So this is like the teal on the bottom, right. and then your middle is violet. It's faded a little bit, but your right. middle was violet. On Sunday, it looked very violet. Oh, was cool. it brighter on? Probably. Then, yeah. Mm. Yeah, the that one fades out the fastest. Usually. The violet. Yeah, and it starts to go like silvery. Look at me. Silvery is pretty too. Then. Mm -hmm. I like it. In fact, before I did the rainbow colors, I had just like a violet silver. Wouldn't that be pretty? I did that, was it last year? No, it was before oh, I was yeah, pregnant. yeah, I remember when you yeah, did that. I loved it. Mm -hmm. It was kind of high maintenance to get it out. I had to use the like um, exfoliant packets, like the little Malibu ones you mix with water mm -hmm. to get it out, but. It was really fun. I did pink and I did purple, but I liked purple. And I told my husband, like, I did my hair like a rose gold, and then we went to San Francisco. And I'm like, you know, when my hair is not blonde, like when I go purple or pink, everyone is so nice to me. Really? Did, have you noticed that? I feel like people are so much <laughs> nicer to me, like strangers. Yeah. Just when I had colored hair. That's funny. I don't know why. <laughs> not that they're mean to me. People right. are nice to me, but... I just, I don't I know, get a lot funny. of co more comments from children, actually. Like, really? Children, oh, your hair. Like, I like your hair. Yeah. It's funny. That's cute. More kids talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> when um, the movie Frozen came out, uh -huh. so like a while ago, like the first one, I was just, I had a really long, long, long blonde hair, and I was yeah. just into side braids. Like, I would always oh, do that. Yeah, yeah. And I would have so many little girls, like, come up to me, and they're like, are you Elsa? <laughs> it was so <laughs> cute. Like, I was on a flight. I was flying home to visit my family, uh -huh. and there was this little girl, like, a couple rows in front of me, and she kept turning back and, like, peeking through the little seats. And at the end of the flight, I was walking behind her, and she, like, dropped a book, like, on purpose. She's, like, five, so I pick it up, and she's like, I think you're Elsa, are you? <laughs> oh, that's so <laughs> just because when they're that little it's like all you need is one quality like if you have yeah. long one hair you're for sure <laughs> like the person it was so cute though I loved it my sister has red hair have you met her she's yeah. come to oh, church I don't, yeah yeah Megan. yeah, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. she has red hair so um she looks like Anna and you know how oh. Anna gets like a streak of white in her hair when mm -hmm. Elsa like touches her so I would put a blonde extension in my sister's hair we're like together <laughs> I know we're like we're Elsa and Anna oh this my gosh that's so, so cute but she doesn't live here like I wanted to be that for Halloween oh that'd be awesome but no you guys could like walk around and costume and all the little kids would go crazy I wanted to go to Disneyland like dressed like that but you're not as an adult you're not allowed to I, I didn't know that did you know that um I didn't but yeah, I guess it makes sense because then they'll think that you work there. Yeah, no, it totally makes sense because they're like picky about how their princesses and stuff act. Yeah. Not that anyone would think we were the real thing, but like, yeah. I don't know. I think you can dress like the character, like I could, but not like so much like it, but right. I don't know. I've never You'd tried. you be like, nope, you can't come in here. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want to now, but at the time I'm like, for sure, let's go to Disney, let's be the princesses. That'd be funny. You'd go to Comic Con like that. Oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. Have you ever gone? Uh, once, 
Just once. Aaron goes a lot. But yeah, costumes are fun. I love costumes. Yeah, you're creative. And you like make your costumes and stuff, right? I, I do sometimes. And then also I'm a big, you know, fond of going to the thrift store like right after Halloween mm. and picking up like anything that looks homemade. <laughs> you know? Oh, that's genius. Homemade people's costumes are usually pretty interesting. <laughs> People do some creative stuff, and it's usually better quality than, like, yeah. a packaged one. Looks more legit. My mom and dad made me some pretty cool costumes. They did? And yeah. your dad? Your my, mom and your dad? Yeah, he, um, my dad is an upholsterer. Oh, So he nice. sews, like, oh professionally, gosh. and he would make, like, mascot-style costumes almost. Like, he made a rat costume for a friend and I ended up using it it was like literally like a mascot costume. Turn towards me a little bit. That's so awesome. I know. That's so cool. And then he also made me a box of McDonald's french fries. <laughs> that is amazing. Do you and have pictures? I do. That is so awesome. What a guy. And then uh, my mom made me a corn on the cob. <laughs> Was it with food, right? <laughs> that is so cute. Would you do like family themes? Like you were corn on the cob and your dad no, was like a No, the only time we ever, I know that'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> the only time we ever did that was uh, my mom made me this awesome like little red riding hood costume from like a pattern, you know? Yeah. And it was really pretty. And then she uh, wore like a flannel and some ripped jeans and put on this wolf mask, you know, and went as the the big bad wolf. <laughs> head wolf. That's amazing. <laughs> My mom always dressed up too. So. Hi. Oh yeah, and then another time I do have a picture of I'm an angel and she's a witch. So. So kind of, yeah. yeah. You have fun parents, Lisa. <laughs> so her, the NARS foundation that I matched her with earlier, it was pulling a little too warm on her face. So I'm going uh, two shades down just over top of that, like in areas I want to highlight, kind of, just to brighten it up slightly. Sorry, getting a little aggressive with the brush. It's all good. <laughs> we were talking about like ASMR earlier where it's like the gentle calming like movements because I was curling your hair for her and she's like, oh, that feels good. But now I'm jabbing you with my <laughs> brush. So honestly though, that is the thing with foundation. When you're using a brush, like a Kabuki brush, you really do want to work it into their skin. I feel like I have a pretty gentle touch with makeup, but I do get a little bit more into it with my brush. The funny thing is though, with ASMR, with me anyway, mm -hmm. it it doesn't matter. It could be something painful, like even when I got my uh, microblading done or anything that's like a little bit on the harsh side, uh -huh. I still get relaxed for it because uh -huh. of that. Like just because someone's doing, paying attention to you and touching you and stuff. Yeah, but like, you're like, it still yeah. feels good. So. <laughs> well, that's good if yeah. you think microblading is, <laughs> feels good. Or not feels good, you said it still hurt, but you'll it just hurt, get relaxed It hurt, but I got relaxed. Yeah. Like, it's, a, it's like a whole different thing. It kind of like, it relaxes you even if it's, sort of painful like eyebrow waxing or mm. something like that that kind of doesn't feel great but my body like fights me on it it's like no this feels good someone's doing something <laughs> to you like <laughs> you know you like it so I'm just using the NARS concealer in the little pots just for certain areas of her face this is a creamy concealer I really love this particular cream because um, it has a great finish it dries matte and it spreads really nicely but it is not waxy um, I don't up until this NARS one it has been a long time since I have liked a cream um, a cream concealer because I feel like they're usually waxy and it's hard to get it to like adhere to the part of your face and usually when you're covering something up it has texture like a blemish or anything right. like that yeah and so it will kind of the wax will make it slide off oh okay so I just haven't like I have the hardest time like covering up something if it's, if it's like a dry spot mm -hmm. or... yeah yeah or dry it'll be flaky but this mm -hmm. works really great That's so cool. usually I'll just put it on 
I try to match the foundation color, but if it doesn't match, I'll just lightly tap with my Kabuki brush after. You just don't want to tap too much. Okay, that looks so good. Let's do some under eye. Let's do, I picked up some more NARS shades. They're so close. They're so similar. I know. Yeah, <laughs> I know like, they do. Like hold so it up. Yeah. A little <laughs> rainbow of like similar colors. <laughs> I have, let's do this one. Nope. Let's do this one. This one is um, cream brulee. I don't want to go too light. I want to brighten her under eyes a little bit, but I don't like, really like concealer under the eyes. So um, we're going to try this one see what we think. I really like the NARS and I like the um, Tarte Shape Tape. I have a lot of those too. I have like the full shade range in that, but I'm slowly getting more NARS. So under the eyes, um, every person that I do the under eyes for, I feel like I have a little bit different of a technique with Lisa. I'm going to take a synthetic kabuki brush um, that's pretty dense and I'm just going to get the concealer on the brush and I'm just going to lightly tap it under her eyes. Um, because she's a little bit more dry, I feel like um, I don't want things to look too textured on her and so I want a light layer. And because I am brightening the under eye, I'm bringing it down as well. I'm not just working under the eye. And you have a great under eye. You don't really have dark circles or look up for me. Really much to cover, which is so great. I appreciate you saying that. <laughs> That's I, true. I know. I'm like, I'm always over critical of that area. I think everybody is, <laughs> which is a bummer because I feel like so many people, it's like, their skin looks so much better than they think, and we have less eye circles than we think we do. It's like, yeah. it's too hard on ourselves. Lisa, tell me your secrets to having really healthy hair when you color it so much. Because you'll be really blonde, and then you'll go yeah. like red, and then you'll go pink, and I feel like your hair is so healthy. Really? Yeah, I need oh. your secrets. I have to stay blonde because I'm worried my hair will not be healthy. There is this stuff that's for um, horses. And okay. dogs, and it's called Shoshin. Look up. I tend to me. use that a lot. It's like a nice spray for your hair. Nice. It's like a yeah, styling some spray. More of that. Um, you're supposed to it. Or I mean, it. it has like a really, really slick. Like, if I accidentally get it on the floor, like you'll fall. It's like. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Like slick. Yeah. yeah. Like I've accidentally, well, I've sprayed it like on a dog in my bathroom uh -huh. and then the floor is like super slippery. Oh no. <laughs> That's cool though. I want to yeah. try it. Is it, does it have a shine? Yeah, it, it does. It's like meant for, um, putting on your horse after, like if you're getting ready to Look up for me. do a show or something. Okay. So it's like a, a finishing product. Yeah. Totally. totally. But it, uh, it's good for dogs too. So, and it makes them like. Slippery almost. <laughs> Super shiny. Said so be good for my little Yorkie. Yeah. Make her shiny. Just like it, with that kind of hair, because it's so fine and so soft, you would have to do it very sparingly, but it would be good. Otherwise, it would get like oily really? or greasy looking or wet or I don't know. Yeah. I suspect it would. You're probably right because her yeah. hair tends to get kind of oily. Yeah. Like if I have lotion on my hand, I pet her. I'm right. Like, nah, I need You're a like, bath. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> we need Lisa to come groom you. <laughs> my dogs like love her too. My Pomeranian is like a mama's boy. He just loves me. He doesn't love going to the groomers. He gets scared. So I would always um, kind of trim it. But then Lisa is like the dog whisperer. He loves you. That's cool. He's good for I'm her. Glad. I hope he's good for you. He's, he is good. He sounds like he is good for you. He's good. He. I know they don't like it. None of them really like it, but. <laughs> I'm quick, you know, I just get it, I just get them going straight through and yeah. I'm done fast, so I think they like that better. Yeah, you're very good. Thank you. He's like the sweetest little dog, but he just like... He's, he's like protective of you, yeah. so if you're holding him, and I've seen lots of dogs that do that, it's like if you're holding him, he'll get like a little bit snappy, mm -hmm. but if you're not... If if he's on the floor or something, he doesn't really do that. He's good. not he's not mean. <laughs> no, he just he's has this, like this defense thing, like about you. It's funny. 
He's like, that's my human. Like, yeah, he's very. <laughs> Have you ever seen Twilight? Yeah. You know how they like imprint on each other? The right. werewolves look like my dog and I imprinted on each other. <laughs> like the second I saw him, we like made eye contact and he just like, That's we funny. fell in love with each other Aww. and I had to have him. He's a very, very good looking Pomeranian. He's so cute. Okay. So I am using like a pastel pink blush on her. This is by Makeup Forever. I'm really going in with the pink tones. This is almost like 80s inspired, this look. I feel like it would be fun, like a modern 80s. I We're love just it. going for it. We're just going for the unicorn makeup. <laughs> um, if you wanted to have this be like more of an everyday, a little bit more natural, I would not choose such a pastel color blush. I would maybe use bronzers um, or something a little bit peach. Peach is really pretty with purple, but we are going for it. So we are mm. doing like a pink, like a pastel. Okay, and I'll probably do like a pink lipstick too, if you don't care. Do you wear nope. pinks? Um, not often, but I, oh my gosh, when I was in seventh grade, yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> I wore like an, almost like a neon pink <laughs> lipstick. A neon pink lipstick, like Barbie? Yeah. That's amazing. Probably was cute on and you. And I had wave bangs. Blue eyes. Yeah. Okay, if you guys are watching live, feel free to ask questions. I'll refresh the chat. Hello, everyone. Looking forward to this makeover. Oh, I would make a perfect Elsa. Thank you. So nice. Um, yeah, welcome to the chat, guys. I, if you have questions, go ahead and drop them, and I will answer them as I go. So we're going to do, look at me. We're going to do some lashes on Lisa today. These are the Kiss. They are in the style flirty. These are... Um, wispy so they are natural but they are a double lined they're thicker so give a little bit of drama i love it when you do my lashes ah, I they never lashes. look better when, than when you do it <laughs> oh thank you i love doing lashes i'll lash you whenever you want Lisa. <laughs> okay so i'm going to measure these if you have questions now is a good time to drop them because sometimes Lashes are a little te tedious. Oh man. They like come off of there. I know. I have like specific lash tweezers. So a tip for you guys, don't use like your na your <laughs> your nice tweezers for your lashes because the pressure that you put on them can kind of mess them up. Like I have the Anastasia tweezers and I really like them, but I feel like when I use them for lashes too, it just messes them up kind of. So I have specific lash tweezers, but these are not them, and I don't like these as much. Okay, look down for me. We're probably gonna have to trim these. Open for me. Yeah, and just kind of trim a little edge. Same with my scissors. I have specific lash scissors, and <laughs> they're also gone. <laughs> these are my eyebrow scissors, the Anastasia ones. They're very good, they're very sharp. Let's use. Use this thing. Have you seen these? Oh, yeah. Like the, have cool. you used them before? Mm -mm. Just like a plastic one that comes with the kit sometimes, like yeah. something like that, but it's not that. People love them. I don't, I have not liked it so far. I've only used it twice, but we'll try it today. See if I like it. It's a day of new things. I'm mm -hmm. also using Duo Glue, which I used to always use. Now I like another brand, so we're going to try it. Cool. Today. Do you ever like the black um, glue? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I used to use that a lot. I like it, um, but it just, it's just such a bummer if you ever get any on the lid. I know. That, yeah. It doesn't It's not off, worth yeah. the risk to me. Because, like, especially for the lives, because I'm usually talking to you. So, if, like, my client or whoever I'm doing makeup on talks or moves their head when I do the lashes the, and the black gets on their eyelid, it's very sad. You can fix it. It's just a pain. So, I use the clear. Just yeah. to be safe. Also, if you use the clear, you can tell when it's almost ready to be put on. Because right. it, the color will change. It'll turn more clear. Right. The duo glue takes longer to dry, which is why I used to not like it. We'll fan it a little bit. Let's see. Okay, and guys, the for those of you watching live, um, we do have a giveaway today. 
I often do giveaways for my live viewers because I appreciate you guys and I love hanging out with you. So why this uh, glue dries, a couple more seconds, I will show you the giveaway. So today's giveaway is these Tinkle Razors. Have you ever used these? Yeah. Yeah, these yeah. are amazing. If you have not heard of these, your life is about to change. These mm -hmm. are like a cult favorite. So what they are, this is a pack of three that I will be mailing you, the winner. Um, they are these little facial razors. Let me put this lash on and I will explain what they do. Go ahead and look down. They're like a beauty secret that every girl needs. Oh, actually I like these um, lash applicators today. I tried to do it on myself and I didn't like it, but go ahead and open for me. Oh, I like it on you. Okay. Tinkle razors. So they are, I'll hold it by Lisa's face so you can see. So um, this is the one I used on Lisa today. So it has a straight edge, but it's like a safety razor. So what it is good for is removing peach fuzz on your lip or anywhere on your face. So a lot of women really like it to touch up their eyebrows. And because it's straight, you can just gently go down the skin. You can do in between. My personal favorite is for like the upper lip and chin hair, even okay. cheeks a little bit. So what you want to do is you want to be very, very gentle and you always want to angle it down. The razor is always down. It is not like shaving your legs where you go against the grain, you go with the grain. So I actually did her upper lip before we started. So you just pull the skin tight and you can kind of purse your lips a little bit if you want. And you very, very gently just go down and you never want to be too harsh. And it's, I don't think you could cut yourself with this. It's like no. very, yeah. the worst thing you could probably do is just be a little bit too abrasive. It's, they come very sharp. So you just need the lightest, lightest touch. You just pull yeah. the skin very gently and then downward, I do little baby strokes, like I'll do it on my hand, just little strokes yeah. down the face, very, very, very gentle. And it makes your skin really, really smooth. I like to use them for a one-time use, like I used this one on Lisa today, so I'm gonna toss it. Um, if you wanna use each one a couple times on you, you can spray it with alcohol, like clean it after and then spray it with alcohol, because um, that will dry quickly and disinfectant. But we are gonna toss that. So it comes in a pack of three. Amazing, you'll have the mm -hmm. softest skin. I recommend doing your upper lip, your chin, and then really lightly your cheeks if you wanna try it, and it does not grow back thicker, but they're amazing. So to win the razors, just make sure you comment, say hello, ask a question. The more you comment and say something valuable, <laughs> the more likely you will be to win at the end of today's live. I'll scroll through and I'll pick a winner. So we're gonna apply Lisa's other lash. There goes my, my lash applicators. I think I always drop something when I'm doing lashes. I pulled a lot of eyeshadow palettes for Lisa today because <laughs> I wasn't sure which pastel I wanted, so my table has more on it than it usually does. I've been liking my makeup spread lately. I used to have, like I used to work out of just a little like kit because I had a smaller table, but now it's more spread out and I really like it. Okay, let's see why I cut these. Hi, Brittany. Hi, Jen. Hi, Stephanie. Okay, never wore the false lashes. How hard is it? Jen, you need to wear them. They're so fun. You'll love them. Um, your first time wearing them, they, they probably feel a little bit difficult. Like, just do it when you have some time. Like, don't try them for the first time when you're like, okay, I'm going to a party. I have to leave in 10 minutes. I'm going to throw on my lashes. Yeah. Give yourself some time. And it just takes practice. Like if you don't get it the first time, give yourself a couple times and you will get it. I wouldn't say it's difficult. It's just kind of like a learning. It's like riding yeah. a bike. It's like practice just a couple times. Yes, yeah. exactly. Did you have a hard time when you first started wearing them? The lashes? Yeah. 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 What are some it's, tips? Um, yeah, like practice. Like you said, it just takes like getting used to just placing it like as close to the lash as you can. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good tip. Maybe when I put this one on, I'll give you some tips. Let it dry. So actually, first tip, biggest tip, get your glue the correct amount dry. So many people will put the glue on the lash and then they'll just be like, okay, and they go to put it on the eye. That would be the worst because it um, won't stick. It'll pop right up and then your whole little lid will get kind of sticky. Yeah. So <laughs> I like the white glue. Um, for beginners, I like the brand Callus. 
I will link it. I always link my Amazon favorites and I get this from Amazon. I think I have the box. Yes, okay. So this is the Callus brand glue. I like the clear. It has a little applicator brush so you can brush it on. I'll hold this flash by Lisa's face if we can switch to the main camera and you guys can see. So I just have like a thin line of glue and where it starts to dry it looks a little bit thinner but it is still a substantial amount. You definitely want enough glue and you want to get it edge to edge. In the white glue, the clear glue will start to change colors a little bit as it dries. Like the callus is kind of an iridescent. It looks a little bit blue and it starts to turn a little bit more clear. I would say probably like 30 seconds and you want to feel it and it needs to be like a little bit tacky and then it's ready to be put on. So go ahead and look down. So when you're doing your own lashes, I like a mirror down here and I like to tilt my head up and kind of look at it. And that way it flattens out your lids for you. Is that what you do? Um, put them on, look down I haven't gotten probably a really good technique on that yet. Whatever works. That's yeah. usually what I tell people and it seems to work. But yeah, whatever works for you. Oh, I hate these tweezers. I got glue on them. Okay. So what I like to do is always do the middle first. That is my preference because that sticks so easy. And then I do the two corners. So I'll do the outside corner and the inner corner. And I think I put this on a little bit too soon. So it's not sticking perfectly. So you just want to work, work it and it will dry. Go ahead and open for me. Good. Look down. So the, bit, the last tip is just to get it right nestled well against your lid. So you don't have any gap. The very worst is to have on lashes and have like a space between your lash line and the strips because then it's like, oh, hi, <laughs> I see yeah. your strips. But these are pretty. Okay, these are Kiss Flirty. I think I got these at Ulta. Okay. I can link these too if you guys want. But I really like them for this look, this violet look, because I want the purple to still kind of be the star of this makeup. Like I want it to be seen, but these lashes, go ahead and open. They're very, very wispy and they just give her lid like a nice shadow. And I am going to add a little bit of mascara on top. And I also am going to add some more teal shadow underneath while those dry. And if you add mascara to the lashes, you always want to wait because the glue is slightly wet right now, which is correct. But if I went in with mascara, it would probably take like lift them and then you'd be so sad mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't want to have to wrestle with your lashes i used to wear go ahead and look up for me actually i'm gonna use oh. a little pad i used to wear the strip lashes daily and it would take me like three minutes total to put them on and i loved it so hopefully those tips helped you guys so this is teal shadow it is almost identical i can pull this one out too of my palette it is almost identical to the cream that we put on under her eyes it's a very vibrant pop of teal and this one is mac it's aquadisiac <laughs> right mac it was makeup forever yeah it's mac it said makeup on it and i was thinking <laughs> makeup forever i'm like wait okay um love wearing false lashes since mine are so short and wear them every day yeah patrice wears them every day i love it um, Jen says, thanks for the tips. You're welcome. Pampering self products. Well, nights, if I'm saying that right, says she loves, or he or she loves your eyes. Oh, cool. Yep. Thank Lisa you. has Thank beautiful you. eyes. Mm -hmm. I like the technique you use. Very relaxing. Thank you. I would love to know how you sanitize your brushes. Okay. I have a whole video on how to clean your brushes and it's completely edited. I just haven't exported mm -hmm. it, but that will be coming Probably not this week because we're going out of town, but I'll probably post it on a Friday on a day. Go ahead and look up that I don't go live. And there's three different ways I like to clean my brushes. Um, and I will be sharing it in that video. So keep your eye out. Okay, go ahead and look forward. So pretty. I used to have like a teal mascara too, and I'm very sad that I do mm. not... Lately, I've been doing a lot of different colored liners, like brown or purple and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm really sad. I need to go get mascaras in those colors too, because I think it'd be pretty. I'm gonna do black mm -hmm. on her lid, but I don't. I don't want to do black mascara on her bottoms. In fact, I might put more cream on it, and that would be really pretty. Get my mascara. You guys, thank you, everyone that's hanging out live with us. 
Um, I just ordered the callus glue today. Have you tried the House of Lashes? How does it compare to the formula? You will love the callus. Um, House of Lashes is fantastic. I think it's very similar to the callus actually. Um, very similar because if I remember right when I used the House of Lashes, it was very like iridescent, the clear one, and the callus is too. Um, I think the House of Lashes is probably a little bit stronger. Like I found on myself when I would use that every day, they were a little bit trickier to remove. Um, and the callus was more gentle, which I liked because I wear, I would wear the lashes every day. Go ahead and look down. But it still stays really well. Like I'll still do the callus on brides and stuff like that. Yeah, but the House of Lashes is a great glue. It dries really fast too, which I love. So I am basically smushing her natural lashes into these extensions, strips, whatever I was mm -hmm. calling extensions. <laughs> um, I want to just smash them together because Lisa has pretty thick lashes, I would say. I think so. Yeah. Okay. So they sometimes like, okay, if this is your little lash like extension and this is your natural lashes, if they go like that, that's like not good from the side. So when I do mascara, I'll like press the natural lashes up into the strips. That made sense. <laughs> Sometimes I'll curl them before. I, at least I didn't need it, but okay, let's grab a little bit more of that teal from my palette. And what I'm going to do is take a brush. They have little fan brushes specifically for this one, but it's in my bigger kit, not this. Go ahead and look up. And I'm just going to paint teal on her lashes. That will be fun because I actually, her lower lashes are pretty dark. Either shadow has transferred or you just are blessed with dark lashes. I don't know, but I want to lighten them with this teal. That's cool. I like that. Mm. that so that's like a replacement for using mascara, um, but mascara will have better staying power than that, than the cream will. But as long as products are eye safe, you can use products meant for different areas for your eye, vice versa. You can pretty much always use eye products anywhere else on the face and have it be safe, but just make sure your product is eye safe that you're using for that. All right, let's do lips. Okay, I'm kind of thinking of maybe trying a pastel. It might be a little, I don't want you to look washed out, but mm. let's try it. Let's maybe do it with a liner. Let's try that. You can use uh, Fix Plus from MAC as a medium. Yes, that's a great tip that Pearl, I'm not sure how to say your last name, Pearl is giving. Um, so MAC Fix Plus is this. And it's like a, I put this on you earlier actually. It's like a hydrating mist, I'm gonna spray it. Oh, yeah. And um, it's really great for mixing. So you can mix it with creams or different things. I'll have to scroll up in the comments because I think you guys are talking about how to use it, but that's a great tip. Oh, is there a medium that you can use with eyeshadows to make them eyeliner? Yes, Max Fit Plus. Love the trick on the bottom lashes. Me too. It's so fun. I love color on the bottom. Like I said, if you were to be doing a plum, it's a little bit more natural, like a deeper color. Really pretty on the bottom waterline. Okay, let's use... Um, let's use... This is called... No, let's use Sandstorm. This is... Or no, Los Angeles. This is by NYX. Go ahead and open for me. So this is a more cool brown tone lip liner. So I'm putting this on as a base very, very lightly just to give her lips some depth. I think I'm going to use MAC Cream Cup. It's one of my favorite pinks. I really love it. Um, but I don't want Lisa to feel too washed out in the lips. She has a really great lip shape. So I want a little bit of a deeper color. So make sure you guys, if you are live, make sure you comment and let me know you are here so I can enter you for the giveaway of the Tinkle Razors. So I'm just doing literally like the lightest layer of this because this color can pull very dark, like very brown, which sometimes I like, but at least I want it to be more soft. And I'm also, because I'm doing such a light lipstick on her, like a medium tone, it's not super, super light. I also want to fill in her lips with the lip liner because otherwise um, 
you would have like the line, like I don't want a line, I want it to be blended. Not into the lined lip liner look. Yeah, me either. Right. Yeah, <laughs> not your fave. Okay, let's also highlight you. Okay, so I have this highlighter palette that is really fun whenever I'm doing pinks or pastels or purples. This is the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette. Um, I it might be. It might have been a limited edition, but they have this shade called Forever Young and this one called Kitty Cat. And it's a highlighter, but they have really fun undertones. So this Forever Young one, I really love on uh, like fair to light skin tones because it has like a blue undertone, which is really, really pretty, but it's still pretty natural. Um, and so I'm going to use that on Lisa today. I'll get stuff over. This one, it's very shiny. It is like... A bold highlighter which I love and I think is fun it has a little bit of glitter in it like a little bit of a metallic sheen it's also this is also really pretty as an eyeshadow too just highlighting you I like it because it brightens a little bit anything with blue is going to brighten like if you're at Sephora or Ulta and you're looking at primers and you see all those colored ones when you see ones that are like a light purple they're brightening right so this highlighter because it has like that lavender blue undertone it's brightening which you really like let's do a little bit on your inner eye and then we'll add your lipstick remove these lashes so pretty very springy yes this is a good spring look yeah, maybe I'm ready for spring <laughs> me too what's the giveaway in this that part okay so today I am giving away where did I put them? Over there. Oh, thank you, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving away these Tinkle Facial Razors. So it's a pack of three, and they are fantastic. They are really great for removing peach fuzz on the face, and they are very, very gentle. They're a cult favorite. All Any girl who uses them, loves them, that I've come across, if you've used them, let us know in the comment if you've liked them. But they're just really great to have. They're very gentle. And I demoed earlier in the video how I would use it, like just the correct way to use it. So if you win and you haven't heard, you can watch that part of the video. It was kind of towards the middle. Go ahead and open. That's pretty. I like a pop of color. See, Lisa just pulls mm -hmm. off everything. Okay. Like I did violet and teal, and she looks great. Sweet. Thank you. <laughs> she looks so pretty. Okay, let's do a little bit of. The lipstick. Okay, this is Cream Cut by MAC. The makeup looks so fresh. I'm going to try today. Yay! Pearl, if you try it, post it on Instagram and tag me so I can see. Okay, scrape off. So most of my lipsticks are depotted, but this one is not. I like that color. It's a really pretty color. I think this will look really good on you. So this is Cream Cup by MAC. It is beautiful pink. Probably has more of a cool undertone, but it's still very, very wearable. Actually, I don't know. I'd say it was more neutral. It's like a true little baby pink is what it is. I love it. No, probably not cool. It's probably more of a neutral tone. So Angel is another shade by MAC I like that's pink, and I think that one's a little more cool. You definitely have like pastel unicorn vibes right now, Lisa. Yeah. When you go out tonight, you need to wear like <laughs> pastel <laughs> colors. And you really can text me if you want me to touch you up before you go tonight. Cause I'm getting uh, Brielle, my daughter, my little baby, her birthday present delivered today. So I have to be oh. here to sign. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No problem, <laughs> just let me know. I love our gel lashes, but I've been trying the kiss ones lately. And I really love, I think I've loved every time I've done those ones, the flirty ones on people. Cause I like a good lash, but sometimes if you do such a thick lash, like that's the whole look, it kind yeah. of overpowers it. But these ones are like bold, like they're not too natural, but. Go ahead and blot for me. Okay, and because I did a lighter lip, I'm gonna add some gloss. This is the Bio Beauty, um, it's called the Pout. So it has um, a little bit of a tingling, pumping sensation. Cool. We're just gonna do a little bit in the middle. 
and it has a little bit of sparkle and I think this one's the rose scented so it smells like roses <laughs> I'm just gonna do it right in the center of her lips I usually just gloss like the middle and up to the top I don't gloss the whole thing it doesn't wear as well that way it's a little more messy Lisa <laughs> let's pick a giveaway winner and then I'll show you um, we will show Lisa the makeup and we also filmed a before so in a second after the giveaway I will show you guys that okay Lisa looks amazing. Oh, thank, you. thank you guys. She does. She's a beauty. Okay, really enjoy your tutorials. Rarely live as I'm on the East Coast. Question. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I know it's hard when you guys are in different time zones, but I appreciate it. Uh, what are your thoughts on setting sprays? Um, love them. I love the Urban Decay and I love the Scandinavia. I might have it. No, I don't. Somewhere else. Okay. I like the Scandinavia. I love them. They do set it. They make it last. Um, but pay attention to how your skin feels. If you notice you do feel a little bit tighter later during later in the day or you feel more dry, they can do that. But I do, they're worth a try. The lashes do look beautiful on her. Yeah, they do. Thank, Thank you. you. They look very pretty. Okay, guys. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, I'll show you her before and after first because I want to give you guys 30 more seconds to go ahead and comment. Um, something so that I can scroll through and pick a winner. There's a little bit of a lag, like a 30 second delay. So go ahead and comment now. We'll show you her before and after and then we'll pick a winner. So we're gonna flash her before. I started with the eyebrows, um, primed the lids, and this is the final <laughs> look. Do we get it flashed? Okay, perfect. Are you ready to see? Yep. Your unicorn makeup? Okay. All right, here you go. Ooh. <laughs> Wow. It's pretty. I know. I like that. That's pretty cool. I love it. I never wore like <laughs> different colors of eyeshadow. Oh, eyeshadow? Really. Yeah. Like yeah. I like a, a little bit of pink every once in a while, but mm -hmm. yeah, I really like that. I like it. I, I want to try that again. underneath. It brings out your eyes. Yeah. Thank you. Let me know. Cool. All right, guys. Let's pick a winner. I definitely like it. Okay. Dying to know, have you tried the Kiss Little Black Dress Lashes? No, do I need to? Do I need to grab those? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna scroll through, pick a winner. All right, Jen S. Congratulations, mm -hmm. you have won the Tinkle Razors. You will yeah. love them. All right, Jen S. DM me on Instagram, Julie Christine Beauty, um, and give me your address and then an email address so I can send you a tracking number. I'm probably actually gonna go mail all the giveaways tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love it when you're here live. If you miss it, there's always the replay. Uh, we are live four mornings a week, usually at 10 a.m. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.